What's up, Frenzy Head Nation? Coach Cole back for another exciting adventure of Sports Frenzy. I hope everybody's had a great week so far. It's been a busy one on my end. It seems like I've been saying that a lot lately. And you'll notice the uh, studio looks a little different as well as we're uh, doing some uh, working on the Sports Frenzy Studio right now, so I'm moving my locations around for a while until I uh, make some changes in the Frenzy man cave and uh, such as we're doing some different things here and there. <clears throat> so <clears throat> it's kind of like we're on location in different uh, <laughs> parts of the <laughs> Sports Frenzy house here in Adrian, Michigan. <laughs> uh, this particular location doesn't look bad we got the we got the uh, banner up behind us so it goes along with everything sports frenzy ish like i hope you've all had a great week um has been a very sports worthy week for sure that's going on in the world of sports um we don't well we don't maybe we'll talk about that in a minute we don't have um well, actually, we have some new games on here this week, so we're going to be kicking off some different things in Sports Frenzy this week, but we'll discuss that here more in a minute. Let's go ahead and do the recap part of our show first, and then we'll move forward from there. All right, so uh, recap in Season 9, Episode 22, uh, this past week's Frenzy, and we have uh, our Laura Havlin friends over there. Uh, Jeremy, man, staff-wise, Jeremy tearing it up, getting 22 of the 25 available points. Congratulations to him. And a tie for the students with Ian and Gavin getting 16 out of the 25 points. Then over here on our end of the uh, Frenzy Nation, um, I haven't been reporting these out much lately, and I apologize for that. Uh, Mapstone got 18 out of 26 points and then I still forgot to tally the student total so you gotta get better get that number out but anyway our high school boys high school basketball games that we had this past week uh, we had uh, Hillsdale getting the win over Lenaway Christian 57 to 51 was your final there Ann Arbor Pioneer boys getting the win over to the Cumsey boys. 42 to 41 in a squeaker of a win. Girls high school basketball action. Uh, we had Addison getting the win over East Jackson. 57 to 44. And Celine beating Adrian in a close one. 53 to 49. Blissfield gets the win over Ida 46 to 32. Um, Sand Creek girls getting the win over the BD girls 40 to 29 was your final there. Lenaway Christian getting the win over Dexter 59 to 31. Uh, Madison getting the win over Whiteford, 55-44. to Marenzi getting the win over Whitmore Lake, 58-12. to And Adrian, again, when they played, they played Saturday, got the win over Onstead, 58-50 to was your final score there. Uh, moving into our, our college... Basketball action. We had uh, that Dominican school down below getting the victory over Hillsdale, 68-55. to And your rivalry game, three-point bonus game, uh, MSU beating... Michigan 77 to 70, which was also our challenge game of the week. I lost the challenge. I ended up having to eat tuna, uh, 
Sriracha Bold Tuna, which you guys will get to see will be included in this week's uh, video for you guys to watch. Um, yeah, not happy about that one. And that was your first three-point bonus game as well. But in hockey action, minor league hockey action, or college hockey action, Michigan Wolverines getting the win over that team down below, 4-2 to two in hockey action. Yeah! And Adrian College getting the big win over Lake Forest, 5-1 to one was your final score there. In NHL hockey action, we had the Wings getting the win in a squeaker over the Minnesota Wild. 3-2 to two was your final score there. Uh, minor league hockey action, we had the Toledo Walleye getting the victory over Kansas City Mavericks. 4-3 to three was your final score there. Uh, the Grand Rapid Griffins getting another victory over the Texas Stars. 4-3 to three was your final there. And moving into Alliance Football Week. Week 3 of Alliance Football. I'm hoping people are getting to enjoy this because I have, I have been enjoying their games. The Salt Lake Stallions get the victory over the Arizona Hotshots, 23-15. to The Orlando Apollos getting the victory over the Memphis Express, 21-17. to um, The Burning, Birmingham Iron getting the win over the Atlanta Legends, 28-12. And the San Diego Fleet getting the victory over San Antonio Commanders. 31-11 to was your final score there. We'll have more games from them in game week four action. Coming up next on the Sheets. Uh, NASCAR action this week. Had your winner as Brad Kalowski, number one. Uh, Martin Truzix Jr. came in number two. And Kurt Busch came in number three. And that is all the sheet action we have from last week's games for you guys. All right, this week, um, so districts have started for uh, boys' high school basketball. I So when I put out the sheets, there was no game scheduled yet. So there are no, uh, it looks like we're pretty much done covering uh, those on our sheets. But don't get down because I got some results for you guys today. Coach Co did some research. And so to keep everybody up to date on what's going on with our local sports, I wrote down some information for you guys. So we'd be up to date on what's going on. I'm filming the show Thursday night this week. So uh, pay attention. These are pretty up to date at the moment and are up to date until, uh, well, you watch the show to, on Friday here. So uh, these games will be being played, a couple of these games will be being played tonight. So I'm just going to give you a rundown of what's going on. So we had a game on, uh, a game would have been, let's see, what is today? So this would have been Wednesday night game. And this is at District, District 53, and these games are being played at Adrian. Um, the Adrian boys lost to Chelsea 54 to 37. They are now finished. The, the Adrian boys are done. Um, I didn't write down a score for this one, but also in District 53 and also playing in Adrian was Onstead. Onstead beat Decumsey. Then they went on to face Milan and beat them. 
And now, uh, Friday night here, they will be playing. They will face Chelsea. Onset has Chelsea next. Okay. And that's played tonight, and I didn't write down the time for that game, but I think it was 7 o'clock. Um, in District 84, let's see if I got this right. All right. District 84. Addison Panthers beat Sand Creek. This is all boys' action right now. Addison Panthers beat Sand Creek. Then they lost to the Columbia Central Golden Eagles. 66 to 46 was your final there. Um, and this in District 84 action was in Columbia Central. And then Madison beat Hudson. 64 to 27, and they play Columbia Central tonight, 6:30 at Columbia Central. So Columbia Central is the host for that event. Um. Next up, we had Marenzi. Marenzi lost to Hudson, and are finished. As of to as of the twenty fifth, they were done. Then you move on to District eighty five. District eighty five is at Blissfield. These games are at Blissfield. Blissfield beat Monroe St. Mary's seventy seven to seventy four in overtime. You can't ask for a much closer game than that. But then they lost to Petersburg Summerfield fifty five to forty five. They are now done. Clinton lost to Ottawa Lake Whiteford, 68-60, and they are now done as well. Then you jump into District 121. Uh, these games are being played at Lenaway Christian. Um, Lenaway Christian beat Brighton Livingston Christian, 85-35. to And they will play Britton Deerfield tonight at 6-30. All right, so that's all we have left for the boys' action in high school basketball. Now, getting ready for district's girls' action. This is in District 53, and, uh, and these games are being played in Onstead. Um, Adrian, the Adrian girls, will play Myland at 5.30 on March 4th, which I believe is Monday. The Onstead girls... We'll play Chelsea in Onstead at 7 p.m. And this is a Monday game, too, I believe. And then uh, District 81. We have and these games are being played in Hudson. Uh, Addison was not announced who the Addison girls are going to be playing yet. The Madison girls will play Sand Creek on Monday at 7.30 p.m. And Hudson will play Reading at 6 p.m. on Monday. District 84. These games will be being played in Napoleon. This is the girls once again. Uh, Columbia Central Golden Eagles. We'll play Grass Lake at 7 p.m. on Monday. District 85, Erie Mason. These games are played in Erie Mason. You have Blissfield, but they, they, it hasn't been announced who they're going to play yet. And you have Clinton, and it has not been announced who they're going to play yet either. Uh, District 119, Marenzi games. are going to be played in, well, these are games from Marenzi being played in Marenzi. Uh, Lenaway Christian will play Pittsford on Monday at 5.30. And BD, Britton Deerfield, 
will take on Marenzi at 7 p.m. So there you go. That gives you a look at the uh, district's picture for our boys and girls high school basketball action, guys. And again, I don't have those on the sheets this week, but there are a few Friday night games for those who uh, have made it past in the made it further in the series. All right. Before we get into this week's episode, we take a drink of the most refreshing drink on Coach Co's Sports Frenzy Show. Cool, refreshing lemonade. Can't give you the brand, but this is a Walmart brand. Dollar forty-nine, Walmart. Good price, good lemonade. All right. That brings us to this week's show. That's right. Season 9, episode 23. It is the first day of March. As we creep closer to March Madness and college action, we have a few college, regular season college games left for you guys. And here it is. Our first game this week in college basketball action. We begin with KY Wesleyan. KY Wesleyan has nine wins and 15 losses. They are traveling to and playing against. The Hillsdale Chargers. The Chargers have 17 wins and 8 losses. Tip-off for this game is at 3 p.m. Saturday. But unfortunately, it is not a televised game. But it doesn't matter. You could cruise out to Hillsdale. It's not that far away. And catch the game. I'm going with the Hillsdale Chargers for the victory. Um, one thing I didn't do this week, and I totally forgot about it, this is what I get for working on, trying to work on sheets, it's, like I said, it's been a very busy week, trying to work on sheets, getting things out in a timely manner, thinking I'm getting behind when I'm not, I didn't put the three point bonus games on here this week, I will call out a couple games here as we go along that I think are worthy of being a three point bonus game, I also, moronically, did not... Um, did not look up the proper rankings for these teams, the college teams this week. So I totally apologize for that. So you can just ignore the, um, the rankings there. Or I might be able to find the rankings. Let me see if I can do that real quick. See what our current rankings are for. Excuse me. Siri, give me a list of the current top 25 NCAA basketball teams, according to the AP polls, please. Here's what's coming up in men's college basketball today. Men's college basketball top 25. Here's what's coming up in the NBA today. As usual, if you don't do it yourself. Siri and I don't have a very good working relationship, so I have to do it to myself. All right. 
see if this is This is taking forever. This shouldn't be taking this long. It shouldn't be this hard to find the top 25. All right, here we go. So our next game here, guys. Um, MSU jumped up to, this is our next game, MSU. Uh, MSU has 23 wins and five losses. But they are no longer 10th in the rankings. They are now 6th. They are 6th in the rankings. Alright, so number 6, MSU, has 23 wins and 5 losses. They are traveling to and playing against the unranked Indiana Hoosiers. The Hoosiers have 14 wins and 14 losses. As much as I'd like to see MSU lose, I gotta go with MSU for the victory. I don't think Indiana's going to really give them much of a fight there. All right, our next basketball game, college basketball game, is Michigan, the world's greatest college. That's right, I'm talking about the mighty Michigan Wolverines. Go Blue for life. Win, lose, or draw. Always a Michigan fan, and that has been proven by the video that you will see in a little bit of me eating sriracha tuna all right um so michigan dropped in the rankings michigan is ranked ninth this week so the world's greatest college go blue the mighty michigan wolverines hail to the victors hail hail to michigan the leaders and the best go blue they have 24 wins and 4 losses. They're on the road this week playing um, Maryland. Maryland even jumped up. Maryland is number 17 in the rankings. Alright, so you have the number 7th ranked Wolverines. Did I say 7th? Or was it 9th? Ninth, sorry. Number ninth ranked Wolverines playing the number 17th Maryland. Uh, Michigan has 24 wins and 4 losses. Maryland has 21 wins and 7 losses. And you know who I got. Hail to the victors. Hail, hail to Michigan. The leaders and the best. Go Luke. The Wolverines will prevail. Oh, the I, I get so excited about these games. I keep forgetting to tell you guys this. Going back to the MSU game, uh, that game tips off at 12 p.m. Saturday, and you can watch it on the regular Fox network. Um, the Michigan Wolverines game tips off at 3.45, and that's a Sunday game. And uh, you can watch that on CBS. All right. And uh, 
I put these guys on here just because Jamie Rose and I used to like to say this name. But they jumped up in the rankings and are now your number one team. And that's right, it is Gonzaga! 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 Number one ranked Gonzaga has 27 wins and two losses. They are traveling to...